Hey guys, this is Pillage, and today I'm bringing you a gameplay slash commentary on Mercy. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Now, I won't be talking about the gameplay too much, as is my usual, but uh, the first thing I do want to discuss is the Gears of War competitive scene. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the competitive scene in general, as far as competitive gaming goes, uh, I'm just going to define a few things really quick. GB is Game Battles. It's a competitive website where you can meet online and play against each other with teams and stuff. It's very fun. You should check it out. And then there's Major League Gaming, which is MLG. And uh, it's basically, in my opinion, the professional-grade... Um, Video game edition, I suppose you could call it. It's it's if you guys are familiar with the NFL or NBA, uh, it's it's kind of like that. Um, it's the gaming version of com uh, professional sports, I suppose you could say, and uh, it's it's very entertaining, and uh, I personally really enjoy it. And I will refer to those two as MLG and GB from this point on. And the first thing I want to talk a little bit about is how disappointed I was when MLG decided to not pick up Gears of War. Um, if you guys haven't seen competitive Gears of War 2, it was very entertaining, um, really uh, awesome thing to watch. There was amazing strategies, and you know, just in general, game battles was fun to watch as well for you know Gears of War 3. But uh, I felt like there was a lot of room for um, Gears of War 3 to be a great game on the MLG circuit, and it wasn't picked up, and I was very disappointed by that decision. I feel like it was the wrong decision on Major League Gaming's part. Um, and I, I think that Epic completely supported the idea as well. It, it was pretty disappointing for me to see Epic make all these positive changes for the competitive aspect of Gears of War and then MLG not come through. Uh, if you guys don't know what Hypefestation is, it was the... Uh, I'll consider it the biggest Gears of War 3 tournament um, that was you know, released. There was two of them, Hype 1 and Hype V2, and they were both really entertaining. That's where all of the professional Gears players went. And um, it was it was awesome to watch, and uh, it disappoints me that MLG didn't see that and think, hey, this is awesome. We need to bring this game onto the circuit because I really feel like Gears of War is a great circuit game. I think it could have been a very competitive aspect. Um, I'm gonna use a Halo reference here, guys. Don't hate. Uh, if you guys have seen competitive Halo, um, it, it's very entertaining. I, I remember sitting down and watching Halo 3 and Halo 2 teams and remembering all their names and seeing these great teams consistently do well. And it was it was one of the most exciting things I've ever watched in gaming. And I felt like competitive Gears of War 2 was much better. And I, I think easily Gears of War could have been a better competitive game. But I, I think that the community itself needs to support competitive better than it has. I think Epic has done a great great job of you know supporting the competitive gamer and you know I really respect them for that despite some of the issues with the game they've really done a great job supporting their community for the competitive aspect of gears and I really respect that now my one thing is I really feel like um, it could have been a great competitive game if they didn't add the retro and sawed off and uh, I don't I don't think it's changed the face of competitive too much as neither of those are allowed but I do think that it discouraged a lot of hardcore players at the beginning of the release and a lot of them didn't stay stick around to try out competitive when they saw that and I, I hope to see that change in Gears of War Judgment. I don't expect the Retro not to be. I, I, I think that the Retro and Sawed Off will both be starting weapons, unfortunately. But we can hope, and uh, I will. Um, I'm definitely hoping that they remove them, or at least make them pickups. But uh, to be honest, I don't see that happening. I guess it's possible. There's been talk that they aren't starting weapons, but then there's been other proof to say that they are. It's, it's just a big mess. So... Um, I don't expect them to make the change, but I can hope, and uh, I really hope that they do make that change. I guess we will see. But uh, one thing that does really um, bother me a little bit is seeing some of these bigger YouTube teams switch over to adding multiple games. And I suppose it's not a big surprise. I should have expected it, I suppose. But uh, it does sadden me a little bit to see teams expanding to Halo and Call of Duty. Um, you know, I definitely feel like the gear, their Gears content will, despite what they say, you know, slow down. And people are going to be playing more Halo and Call of Duty over the next couple months. And they're going to, you know, really enjoy that. And I enjoy Halo 4, and I'll probably post some Halo 4 myself. But I will have my roots in Gears of War because that's the game I love.
and it does disappoint me a little bit to see um, bigger teams moving up and trying to, um, not all of them are trying to gain views, but I do think that there are more views in these, and that's part of the reason that a lot of teams are moving to other uh, franchises. And uh, to be honest, it, it uh, saddens me. Um, but I do think that we've made huge steps to improve the Gears of War 3 YouTube community. I think that teams have been part of that, definitely. And I think the addition to uh, the, the YouTube community by uh, really active, big YouTubers continuing to play the game has been a huge help. I think without them that the game probably would have um, died. But I think that the YouTube community is going to stay alive, at least, unlike Gears of War 2, throughout the game and until Judgment's released. I think that there are enough dedicated YouTubers for Gears of War 3 out there that the game will continue to be posted and played and enjoyed. And that really, that makes me happy because I remember going back and watching you know, maybe three to, you know, very few YouTubers continued to upload Gears of War 2. It was, um, you know, you'd see all these videos from the release and then it just died out because people stopped playing the game after the first year. And I do think that Judgment coming out so soon after Gears of War 3 is a big bonus because I think it'll keep people playing the game longer and more people will want to come back because they don't remember it, uh... Excuse me, they remember the franchise a little better, and they remember the times that they enjoyed. Um, you know, there, there'll be people who remember all of the bad things in the game as well, but I think that because of the soon release, that it's more likely to get more views, and uh, there's not as much dead time on the game, so you won't have to play by yourself on Gears of War 3 like you did sometimes in Gears of War 2. I remember searching for, you know, half an hour to find an online game in Gears of War 2, and I don't think that that will happen in Gears of War 3 because of the quick release of Judgment. No disrespect at all meant towards any of the teams I was referring to. Um, I think it's very uh, smart of them to transition to other games as well, because I think the viewers on those games will grow over the next couple weeks or so and you know they'll they'll definitely get some views from opening it up and i'm sure they have players that don't want to upload uh videos th about the games that they're playing maybe they're not being as active on gears of war and there are some people that will play other games and enjoy them and i have nothing against that but uh I, it does make me a little sad as i said to see the gears content slowly um go down, but uh, I think that the teams are probably making the right decision, and no disrespect at all meant, guys. Um, no hate here. One thing that does bug me a little bit is all the drama that's going on right now. Uh, I'd like to see it stop. Uh, I don't know if that'll happen, but uh, I, I hope everyone can reach a reasonable agreement, and uh, uh, you know, just act like the ma mature adults that everyone should act. Like, uh, I don't think we need flame wars on YouTube, personally. I don't think the Gears community needs that, and I personally would be very happy if, um, you know, there was no drama at all on the Cures of War, because I don't think it's needed. Uh, and uh, I definitely don't want to see drama around. It doesn't entertain me at all. It just is uh, just a pain, in my opinion. So uh, I hope to see that all cleared up, and uh, I hope everyone acts maturely about it, and there's no feuds or anything crazy like that. Um, thank you guys. Uh, have a great day, guys. God bless. Pillage out.